bit of swing and a good shot a boundary to start what a wonderful start from the Royals that the Hawks are probably the favorites in this game they will have to feel better than the last time he was talking about the dropped catches he's flat batted that for four that's his sort of style he powers the ball to the leg side Oh, lovely shot. Works it off his legs with ease. That's a glorious stroke from Mukhtar. Very pleasing on the eye. It seems like this match might be a high scoring one because the pitch is looks quite good. He's pulled this and that is four. That is a great way to end the over. 17 for none after two. He's gone big and it's gone all the way. The first maximum of the innings, Shahjil had seemed to have all day long to see that and put it away. There's the length and he's just flat batted this one and this now is becoming a big, big over. This is the shot on the offside. That is glorious stroke. It was, you say, he's so strong on the leg side, but this time he's hit it over cover. 18 off it. It's a big, big over for the third over. 35 for none. Shot delivery. Pulled away for six. For the life of me, I just cannot understand what strategy. Ah, uh, Fuller and flat batted it for second six of the over. Oh, it's a rollicking start by the Meerpool Royals openers. Oh, that's another boundary. It's carnage. Shot Jill is really putting this attack to the sword. 6-6-4. Six, six, Plenty now for the captain and his bowlers to think about. Now it's down to the captain. Oh, thumped away on the onside. Four runs, just saw the length, quickly moved on to the back foot, backed away from the leg stump and hit the ball into the gap for four runs. But, uh, not the worst length and that is straight out the middle of the bat and it's gone a long way. A bit of exchange in a couple of matches but took the responsibility. And Mukhtar joins. Footwork made that stroke. Oh, they are in belligerent mood, both these open. Okay, and it's uh, wicked and it's proving to be what we've got to know. And that's brilliantly bold. Ah, oh, Shahid Afridi just showing his class there, hold it back. And deceived Mukhtar all ends up. Just went straight on. So this is welcome relief. Hold up. Once again, shot delivery, got the treatment it deserved. You cannot ball shot to this man, Shaji. Loves pulling the ball. Big start to the over. And he gets it wrong again. This cannot be the way to go right now. Back to back boundaries. Yeah, every time you earn in line and length as a bowler, yeah, one thing is for sure, he's going to bring calmness out there in the middle. He's going to keep on working the ball into the gaps and look at the way he got off the mark. Not a lot of effort, just opening the face of the bat in the last moment. And a brilliant result. Getting more than 280. Have a look, have a look. What are you expecting? Haven't you learned the lesson? Pitch the ball up to Shazil. 22 of the over after 8 at 96 for 1. That's big downtown. And the boundaries that will be scored here by the Mirpur Royals. I'm telling you, Monem, Shweb Malik and Men have made up their mind. They're going to hit 250. They're not going to play around with 228 or anything like that. 
They know what this pitch is worth. 230. Oh, that's the biggest one I've seen up till now. That's gone out. That's gone out on the grass banks. He's a powerful man. He is. And again, it's going, going, gone. No doubt about the game plan here. Asif Afridi being targeted by the Royal Betters. 19 off that over. 121 for one. This graveyard this is difficult, very tough. Everything's going away in favor of the batsman. This one will just roll over the ropes. We'll have to wait for umpire. Leg by signaled. Considering the start they've had. Oh, that's what I was saying. Trying to play across. Horizontal bats gone under it. Didn't bounce as much or what. But that was a terrible shot to play. We've been looking at such good stuff in the Wii. And this time around, he's hit top of off. That's not the kind of shot you expect Shoaib Malik to attempt. He's gone late on it. And that's what we were talking about. He got Oh no. The team is struggling. Ballers are finding it hard to keep the batsman quiet. And you had a chance of bowling a dot delivery and then this kind of tactic has changed slightly. Well the tactic will probably be the same, but third man's dropped back, so he's probably gonna go full and wide like he's shown the previous ball for a dot. Good tactic I feel. Well, that one slice of the face of the bat. Another boundary. He moves to 90s, Sergeel. In just under 13 overs. Incredible. They've gone to a plan, and it is possible. We've seen bowlers hit all around the ground the whole week, and if you can execute, you can do it. Usage of feet. Yes. That's high full toss. It'll be called a no ball. They'll be running for the second. It's a no ball, free hit. That's what the rolls needed to break the shackles. That's a real disappointing. What a way to get to your 100. Fastest century of the tournament, 102 unbeaten Shajil. Excellent knock. Means a model hack, the coach in the dugout loving every minute of what he's done here. What a great moment for his team, and this is the time when you want to perform in the crunch game. Applaud all around the ground, around the world. He's announcing himself here, and he's in great form. He's been a joy to watch. He's so powerful in his hitting. Hit in the air. And you don't have to guess what was the result. Another six. Right where he likes it. In the slot. In it straight over long on. The clock has been brilliant. Flat surface. That's an achievement. Uh, but it wasn't going to last for long. Decided to ball around the wicket. It turned out to be a low full toss and dealt. Uh, back of the land and disappears once again. It has become a familiar sight. Shajil hitting the boundary, hitting the ball towards mid wicket boundary. Anything in his arc is. Yes, before the game, I was talking up the bowlers and how good they've been in the middle period. And this man has done absolutely nothing wrong. Every time he's got bad on ball, something's happened. This is another boundary, and assisted by a, a diving fielder. But well, that's gone over extra cover. There is a man diving, and the result has been what we've seen for most of the day. Nothing really going the Hawks' way. Catch for a moment, only to find the boundary rope pick-up shot to pull between mid on and square leg oh 
Oh, he's just now brought out a bit of class for us. Showing that he has it all. Just guides that beautifully beats the man at third man. And that's the problem with setting the, this field on one side, on offside. There are two fielders, so you're predictable as a bowler. Well, he's got over extra. Just, just, just put six down. Put another one. Gentle full toss. And he's hit that right out of the middle of the third side. That's now 116 runs out of his 136 that come in boundaries. Just look at his reach also, how far it was. And still he was able to transfer that weight and have such a good contact on the ball. And just think about 229 on the board. He's one for 11 in three overs. It's going to beat the man at Madoff. So he just continues to go Shajil. And that is now the highest team total, 233. Oh, maybe touch bigger on the one boundary. Oh, that's gone up. The baller will get underneath it. Easiest of catches. Not getting hold of that. He's a tired man. He's batted virtually well. Virtually the whole innings. Only two balls shy. I'm sure you'll get a massive round of applause. Not only from the Hawks, the other players, but also his teammates. That's been the knock of the tournament. And from a batting perspective, He's done the job for the Royals. He's got him. <laughs> Should have asked for something else, John. <laughs> and that's the first wicket. That's the kind of damage. He's not the so-called power play player. He's been put in those boots. And he's gone straight after one wide one outside the off stump. It's new ball. Just want to see who's batted up there. If they've made some changes out there in the batting order. I mean. Oh, he's got a bit of bat onto it, I'm sure. That's not the line. Now, that's the ball. It's leg by signal. That's the kind of ball Sergil was saying they've got to stay away from. Uh, he's just lost his radar. Unfortunately, is movement. That's too short. That's been nicely picked up and we'll go to the boundary for four. He's trying to get a little bit of a way swing, just drag it down a touch. It's a really good stroke. Only his third. Need a boundary here. And there they get it. Nicely driven. Malik doesn't like it. It's a little too full. Got to finish the over well. 16 for one. Very good. It's gone past. That'll be four. See, it's a very thin line. You get onto the leg stump, you'll be hit like that with fine leg up. And just that last ball of the previous over, you try to ball full out swing, you'll be hit through covers. Yeah, not much space for the bowlers here. He is. Shot. Mid on's up. You can take that chance. You can hit it so well, you're not to worry about it, even if he's in the deep. Imran came into the side as replaced. That's high in the air, but that will go all the way. He's already got himself in a position where he can hit that shot well. Just opening his his stance and just playing it behind the square on the onside. He's moving himself around the crease. That's high. That might, oh, don't collide. Almost. Mukhtar takes that catch. Man running backwards towards it. Just gets out of the way in time. That's the second strike for Mirpur Royals as Bismillah walks. I'm trying that vertical pull stroke and it's just going to go up and not far enough. Nicely hit. The length was uh, suited to that particular stroke. Thump the ball off the back foot for four runs. Kashif has been amongst runs and able to settle it for the Hawks out in the middle. Wide and punched away, crashed away to the square boundary. Well, it's still a good deck out there. Nothing wrong with the wicket. 
And it's the first shot of authority we've really been uh, seen from the Hawks as they go to 47 for three. Already fell in the innings of Rav Lakot. Bowling chain, Salman Rashad. That's hit in the air. The fielder is running. One bounce over the boundary line. Took a lot of risk on that occasion, Hussein Talat. Very lucky for him and his side. So this is where... And he goes straight. That's a cricket shot and a half. Can't go wrong there. Full face of the bat. And driven down the ground for four. Units. That shot and pulled away for six runs. Sato poorly. Indirected delivery. Use the feet, slice the ball off the face of the bat. And second boundary of the over. Stay for the hooks. Oh, that's a full blooded blow. Over the head of mid off. And the umpire is checking whether it was a six or a four. Delivery. Uh, footwork made that stroke. Shimmy down the track. Swung his arm, swung the bat. So uh, that's punched away to the leg side. The, oh, the timing on that, the effort, 100%. But it uh, just couldn't stop it. Yes, how did he uh, time that on there? running away he's gone with that leg side ball this time Tala didn't miss out to the boundary here he's gone big what a beauty finishing off signing off in style nine overs gone 107 for three what a shot extra cover and that's for that sloppy fielding once again that's where you're going to get tested that could be the difference in the game at the end of the day. Flat. That's another boundary. Talat is turning it on for us here. What a start he is in full flat. Quick single. Brilliant. You know what that is. That's the fastest 50 in the tournament. 50 of 20. Absolutely brilliant. He beats Azam Khan's 50 of 21 balls. Oh, he's hit it in the air. Oh, they're going to take it this time. They've done it. Can you believe it? They've held on to a catch. And that was a tough one as well. Salman reintroduced into the bowling attack. And he's had instant success. The Hawks in deeper trouble now. Drak. Pulled away. That's a great shot. He's not holding back. He just keeps on going. That's what they've got to do. If they want to win this match. Straight shot. That is special. Tell me what, this man, he packs a punch. It's to come. There's the big shot. And he's wanting all of it. He knows the rate's just gone over 12 and he's just brought it down once again. So it's just fluctuating this game, isn't it? Public court hawks. Yes. First ball up. Driven, nice shot. Straight to the boundary. That's a good start to the over. Gone, soft dismissal, trying to charge. He doesn't offer you much space or pace. And that is the end of Danish Aziz. That's a big blow again. Smash. Big shot. Big runs. Big applause. Gone, mid wicket. He's been there. He's done that. He can toy around with you as a bowler if he gets on song shot shot and a half gone over gosh if he can bat nice will he cut it off that's well done but it's gone for four it's gone for four i get a feeling it's touched the rope we'll have to wait for the official call there good try there by taha but just that knee rolls it over Fast point, that's boundary, good way to start the over. He knows where to put it when it's fallen wide. 
He's hit it straight, he's hit it flat, and it's gone right through. Shahid Afridi wants to win this match. Sliced off the face of the bat, and wicket taken. Sameen go straight away, obliging his captain with a big wicket of Shahid Afridi. Hit hard, handsome, six. Team awareness, isn't it? Oh, nicely worked away. A bit of angle provided by the bowler and gleefully accepted. The scales of wicket here. Oh, nicely hit. Nicely hit into the gap. Yeah, boundary here would suffice. Uh, that's it. Boundary. It was to end the over. If he gets it, he'll get a hundred. That's in the air. And he has reached to his hundred. First in this KPL in style. What a timely blow. Nelson's on the board. What a card, what a hand yeah by Kashif, what a shot to bring up your 100. The pressure's on, two from the first three balls. The over cried out for a boundary for the Hawks, and did he not deliver? He's not interested in scoring 100, he knows he's not done. He hardly raised his bat for the 100. I don't know how many sc he scored in his career. It's supposed to be a big moment, but he's there to win this game for the Hawks, so it's pressure right back on the Royals. Yeah. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! That was the biggest six of the game. Oh, this guy is turning it on for the Hawks. Inching towards the victory. That's in the air. Cleared everything. Hawks go over the line. What a victory for them. Who would have believed after losing three quick wickets? They were going on to win the game. A tremendous effort, tremendous. What an innings from Kashif. Hats off to this young man. Kept his resolve, kept his focus, kept on taking chances with some effect and helped the team get over the line. Great knock. And richly deserved.